Hey guys, this is Jaden from Team Shadow Strike coming at you with another discussion video. And today I'm going to be talking about Digimon and Pokemon specifically. And the reason this video is being made is there is a new Digimon series out and it is called Digimon Fusion. And I must say I am extremely impressed. Now, the reason I'm going to talk about Digimon and Pokemon for a second is there's a lot of people who believe you know that Digimon spawned because Pokemon was so madly popular now first off I got a couple of little things here I'm gonna t uh, read to you guys um, if you're wondering when Pokemon very first came out the anime came out on September 7th 1998 and red and blue came out as far like red and blue the Game Boy games came out on September 30th of 1998 and then Digimon, the first series, it says here, the first Digimon telev television series, which began airing on March 7th, 1999, excuse me, um, on Fuji TV and Kid Station in Japan, and then on August 14th of 1999, it was introduced to the U.S. on Fox Kids and dubbed by Saban. Now, so obviously, you know, you can see Pokemon came first. So the people who say that maybe Pokemon spawned Digimon you might have a legitimate argument. Um, because when I was a kid, there were people who... Um, they were either Pokemon fans or they were Digimon fans, you know? And then, you know, there were very few people like me who were like, I like them both, you know? Um, I liked how Pokemon, it seemed like they were more, the Pokemon were more... This is going to sound terrible. That they were more just like your pets. That they were they were they were more just they were like the beloved family dog that you took care of, but then they fought battles for you. Um, the anime of Pokemon to me started out really really well, and it it, it, it was I mean and, and when I say really really well, I mean I don't think it's ever been better because I think the Pokemon anime when it very first started out it was the best it's ever been the first whole series of the whole Indigo League I thought was amazing and then the Johto League was really good the Hoenn League it was still it was still okay but then when you got into fourth fifth gen it started to slow down a little bit and nowadays when they did the Diamond and Pearl and then they did the Black and White it sucks. I'm sorry. I have tried watching it. It sucks. I don't know if they have different writers, if they have different directors, if they have different, you know, I don't know what it is. But it to me, it's it's boring. It's not even entertaining anymore. The only thing that I still am connected to with Pokemon is I use some Pokemon cards for tokens in my Yu-Gi-Oh decks. Um, well, Yu-Gi-Oh deck, because I technically only own one. I just still sometimes befuddle why I'm still playing that damn day that game because um, I'm sorry Vanguard is in my opinion still the best card game there is um, as far as strategy and creativity and but that's a whole nother story but back to my point you know Pokemon to me seemed like that you know it was it was more that the creatures in it or the Pokemon were just your, your pets. They were your beloved pets that you took really good care of, and then they, they had battled for you, and that was all good. Digimon, on the other hand, to me, seemed more like they were actual living creatures. And now, let me elaborate on that, because I know Pokemon are living creatures, but what I mean by that is they actually could talk. They just couldn't just say their name. It wasn't, you know, like for Pokemon, it was Pikachu, Pikachu, Squirtle, Squirtle, Charmander, Charmander. You know, but if you go over to Digimon, Agumon could talk, um, Angelmon could talk, Greymon could talk. You know, all these different Digimon, they could talk. Like, there, it was like someone put a human spirit in an animal, you know, or a dragon or something. But that's why I like Digimon a lot too, because the characters that were the the creatures of the show or the anime was. They actually had personality. Now, I realize that there were a couple of Pokemon in the series that they tried to get a personality to. For instance, Squirtle. He o Ash's Squirtle. He always wore those sunglasses to make himself look fly. Or Pikachu loved ketchup. You know, I mean, it was things like that that they tried to do. But it just, in my opinion, they could have just not done that because it didn't matter. Because there's only so much of a personality for something that you can create when all they can do is say their name. 
I mean, they did their they did their best, and I'm and I stand by it. The first three seasons of Pokemon were the best, and if honestly, I think the first two were the best because once you get into the third, you brought into you got in Max and May, and May, in my opinion, was okay, but Max sometimes just got annoying. But um, you know, Digimon, on the other hand. The, but then, you know, I'm not here saying that I like Digimon more over Pokemon. I've, I, I'm probably more Digimon than Pokemon now just because I'm so disappointed with how bad the anime is. Um, and I'm going to make another video. This one is just – video is just talking about Digimon and Pokemon side by side. I'm going to make another video talking about the new series of Digimon Fusion after this. So please go check that out as, as well. Um, but when you compare Pokemon and Digimon aside, they both have their pros and cons. Pokemon on the other – Pokemon, look at Pokemon. Pokemon, if you were to narrow down the top two names that made Nintendo, it was Mario and Pokemon. Mario with a Pokeball. You know, I mean, that, that those were the two things that made Nintendo. So Nintendo, you know, was backing Pokemon, and they had all, Warner Brothers backing it at one point, and then they had – you know, the W, you know, I mean, they, they're, and fuck for kids. I mean, they just, Pokemon was pretty much the all around franchise. You had the, you had the anime, you had card game, you, you had trading cards with a good card game that was simple to learn at the time. Um, and still is today, um, from what I hear, um, three, you had the games and by games, I didn't just mean handheld games you had games like the innovation of pokemon snap you had pokemon stadium you had pokemon coliseum when they came out with the gamecube you had you had you could hook your ds up and battle people across the world you can trade with people across the world and they pokemon just had so much merchandise they and then they had shirts they had plushies they had I mean, they had, by plushies, I mean, like, plush dolls, like, stuffed animals, you know, I mean, they had so much backing them, you know, it was, in, Pokemon was going to succeed one way or the other, because they had so much merchandise to go off of, and they had a lot more fans at the time. Digimon, however, came in at a time when Pokemon was the big thing, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't exist at the time. Um, so Pokemon was, it was pretty much the thing kids were into around that time, you know, so, you know, but there's also a lot of people who hate Pokemon, and for that, I mean, I follow a guy on YouTube, his name is Andre, and he does a, he has a channel called Black Nerd Comedy, I will put a link for his channel in the description below and tell him I sent you, he doesn't know who I am, but I do watch his videos religiously, the dude's funny, um, he did a video, and it was called Black Nerd Hates Pokemon, and he makes a really good case why Pokemon is easy to hate. Because he makes the case, you know, back, you know, in the early 90s, it was the it was the time for cartoons and just animation in general. He said, but when Pokemon came along, you lost a lot of cartoons. And out of all the cartoons he named, I really, he said the one cartoon we lost was Road Rovers. And I'm sorry, Road Rovers was a good cartoon. And if you've never watched Road Rovers, Road Rovers, Go on YouTube and just type in Road Rovers episodes and just find some clips or a full episode and just watch it. It's dogs that drove cars, guys. I felt I was so glad that I wasn't the only person on the world who remembered this. So, um, Andre, if you happen to watch this, I do remember Road Rovers too, and I feel your pain because I miss them too. But and I don't blame you. The the Pokemon anime now does suck, bro. But anyway, the reason he make he he makes a good case for saying the reason that Pokemon was liked more when it came to the U.S. because the producers liked it because all they had to do was hire American actors to do voices and dub over it, which is you know easy. And there was a lot of episodes that were already drawn up, so. That's why po Pokemon just had so much going for it. But then Digimon came along. Now, Digimon, I think the downside to it at first was there was a lot of characters at first. Um, I think there was like eight characters from the beginning. You know, along, you know, you had Ty and you had all these other characters. I really don't remember all of them because I haven't watched the original season in forever. But, um, you know, but just keep that in mind, you know, I because, you know, you only get 30 minutes of an episode for these things, and that was one of the downfalls I had. The other downfall was, you know, 
I looked up, I just Googled because I wondered, okay, if you want to know how many Pokemon exist, you can find that out. There are about 600 and some Pokemon right now. I don't know the exact number. Digimon, however, there's thousands because there's so many different variations, there's so many different evolutions, and there's so many different ways that you can look at how many Digimon there are. So that was one of the bad things against it was when it, what it you know because pokemon people were like well we know we have 150 how many do you have i mean so that i mean that was one of the down things i think they did i think digimon had a lot of unnecessary characters too i think they would have been better if they would have just narrowed it down a bit you know and then maybe introduce characters here and there um I mean, so both had pros and cons, and, and like I said, I like Digimon better than Pokemon in ways because there was time you could develop personalities for each individual Digimon. Like Agumon, you know, he was the main character's um, partner, and he was a complete goof, and he was hilarious, and he was he was so cute. I still have my Agumon um, stuffed animal, but um, you know. Overall, you know, Pokemon and Digimon, you got to give them both their props. They they're still around to this day. You know, Digimon now co is coming out with a new series, Digimon Fusion. Um, I think only three episodes have aired on television right now. Um, I'm gonna do a video on Digimon Fusion, so please watch that. Um, I guarantee um, you will like Digimon Fusion if you're a Digimon fan. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Um, thumbs up this video for me in the comment section below. I want you to tell me, are you a Pokemon fan? Are you a Digimon fan? Or are you like me? And are you both? Um, if you are a Pokemon fan but not a Digimon fan, what do you not like about Digimon? And vice versa, if you're a Digimon fan, what don't you like about Pokemon? So feel free to give me your opinion on both of them in the comment section below. I really, really do want some feedback on this. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later.